How's it going there fellow junkies? Today I've got a cool video for you. We're going to be showing you guys how to take your HTC One M8, this device right here, and yes, does it look a little bit uh, unique? That's because this thing has a lollipop on it. Yep, we're going to take a Google Play Edition ROM running Android 5.0 lollipop and installing it on this device, giving you a quick overview of the ROM, and uh, we'll just do it. So, you guys want to see how to get Lollipop on your HTC One M8, right? So, let me show you how to do it. First of all, you're going to need to download the ROM. This is going to basically turn your device into a Google Play Edition device. So, let me go ahead and see if I can show you guys where I have this ROM stored at. This is my file browser. And SD card storage. One, I think it is. Yeah. ROMs. And right here says Google Play Edition 5.0 M8 VZW means it's for the Verizon M8, which is what I have right here. Obviously, I'm sure you can get this ROM for the other versions as well. It's just this is what it's for, what I found on the form on XDA. So we've got it on the device. Um, some prerequisites as I go ahead and power this into recovery is you're probably going to want to have um, S soft. You're going to want to have an Unlocked bootloader, you're going to have some kind of custom recovery installed. So you want to meet those prerequisites, obviously, to do this. If you don't have those prerequisites met, definitely check out my playlist on this device, and it'll go through how to do all of those. Um, also, I think if you want to get S off at this point, you're going to have to use Sunshine application to get that accomplished. Um, which I do a video on that. I don't know if it's in this playlist or not, but definitely look up Sunshine app or go to the RootNinja.com. So, that being said, here we go. First thing you're going to always want to do, make sure you have plenty of battery life. Number two, go ahead and make a backup. Swipe across and create an Android backup. I actually have three backups in here right now, so I'm really not worried about doing a backup for myself. After that, you're going to want to come in here and you're going to have to wipe data factory reset. So we'll swipe across. This wipes out all of the data on the device and gives you a clean slate to install this. Obviously, you're going to lose all your apps, all your games, all your other kind of things like that. So important to get that backed up either with an Android backup or with uh, something like titanium backups. All right, so we've wiped the device. We'll go ahead and we'll install it. So just click on it right here. Make sure it's listed. It is Google Play Edition 5.0, Verizon M8, blankety blank blank. And we'll go ahead and swipe across to install this. Cool thing with this install, and I do love this, it says that it has Aroma Installer, and there you go, you can see it. Aroma Installer is really, really nice because it brings it all into one place and lets you choose how you set up your ROM, how it installs, basically. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. And I agree to the terms and uh, agreements there and hit next. And it talks about different versions, but yada, 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 whatever, hit next. If you want to read through that, um, full, perform a full wipe, um, install without wiping user data or update only so update only would be as if you already have the ROM installed you just want update you use update only if you already did wiping or you just want to try to do it without losing your data you can pick that option or you can do perform full wipe I already did a full wipe earlier so we can do it or not I'll do it again for the sake of it so we'll go full wipe anyway um, no custom GPS leave ROM default um, let's see what other things there is there's North America South America we'll just do United States because that's where I live, and hit next. Um, what do we have here? Please select the apps you would like. So Active Display, Apollo, Kronos, I don't use Dolphin, Dropbox, I'm not really using that. Um, battery Monitor, that looks cool. Greenify looks cool. LMT, I don't like using that either. ROM Toolbox Lite, why not? MX Player, that looks good too. Hit next. So you basically have to pick the applications you want. So Google Mail, Google Maps, yep, no, Earth Plus, yes, Hangouts, yes, Chrome, yes, 
Drive, yes. YouTube, yes. Um, keep, I do use. Wallet, I don't. Face, uh, print, um, very good. So I picked what I wanted to install. Um, let's see, we have custom DPIs. I'm just gonna stick with stock for DPI. So that has to do with basically how big and small things look on your screen. I'm gonna stick with stock, it's already selected. Um, fonts, so here you can pick a whole bunch of different fonts if you wanna change them. Again, I really don't care to do this right now, so I'll leave stock font. And everything looks good. So install SkyDragon Google Play Edition or Bort installation. I'm gonna go ahead and install. And we are installing. I absolutely love Aroma Installer because of the options here. If you don't have to have stuff you don't want, and you get the stuff you do want. I, I just love the options in, by using a Roman installer. Let's let this thing finish installing. I'm gonna show you guys a Lollipop on the HTC One M8. All right, there it is. Our install is complete, that didn't take too long. Hit next, and hit finish. Reboot now, yes, you could say no and it would just bring you back into uh, Twerp if you had some kind of something else you wanted to flash, some kind of mod on top of it. I'm gonna say yes and this should boot up the device for the first time for us. So let's just let this thing finish. It finishes out the little rescript to basically close down a Roma installer and then it should reboot the device. There it goes. I was gonna say, taking a second. I'm gonna go show you guys quickly the uh, boot animation just because I'm curious if it's anything different than basically stock Google. Um, if it is, we'll look at that. If it's not, you know, whatever. But um, we'll, I'll do a quick setup of the device just to get it set up so we can function, and then I'll give you an overview and show you this Google Play Edition Lollipop on the HTC One M8. All right, so this was quite interesting. This is my experience. Zero boot animation. It stayed on that HTC screen for about seven minutes went blank and when I hit the power button to bring up um, the screen again I was on the screen so uh, just interesting you know why did it do it that way don't know was it supposed to be bad boot animation don't really know don't really matter because the device booted up and we have lollipop so I'm just gonna go through my setup really quickly I'm gonna I don't have a sim inserted on this device right this minute sim does work it does get network so I'm just going to skip this for right now, and we're going to do it with Wi-Fi only. Go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi. I do absolutely love the setup in Lollipop. I think it is just amazing. I love the NFC setup specifically. I think that part is really, really cool. Boom, connected. Awesome. All right, so now it does a little quick checking for updates. You can see it always does that on startup here, which is interesting. And then now we have tap and go. So to do this, I'm gonna take my uh, device here and touch it to my other device. I did this the other day with two other devices, which is pretty cool. There it goes. So I'll use Bluetooth. And it says copying user data. You put these down. So I did go ahead and put my password in once I connected with NFC. And I um, actually did it because I have two different accounts hooked to this phone over here. So it synced both those Gmail accounts over. And now you should be syncing up your entire device. So I'm going to sync up finish. Once it does, it will boot up and you will start downloading and resetting up all of your applications that were on your previous device. Again, love this feature on the... Android 5.0 Lollipop. I think it is amazing. Let's go ahead and say yes for Google now. There's some quick setup stuff right there. And boom. Shabam. Very, very cool. Let me uh, turn up the screen brightness just a smidge so you guys can see this a little bit better. Oh man, this is exciting. Oh yeah. Absolutely love it so far. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and just walk you guys through this. You can see it does have Android Wear app right there, and it looks like it's somewhat themed, which is just kind of cool looking. Here is Google Now, and it looks like it's Ryan's birthday today. Um, so, very, very cool. Bunch of Google Now application or Google applications right there, along with Hangout Dialer. Let's go ahead and see what we have here. Active Display, Apollo, Kronos, 
Greenify, basically like I said, some different things that I picked when I did this dot view, if you have the dot view case. Um, Super Su right there for root access. ROM Toolbox, which does have a lot of cool things in it. There's Google Wallet and uh, settings. So let's go ahead and scroll down into settings and go to about. There you go, HTC One M8 5.0 for Android version, which is that lollipop. Very, very exciting. If you click on this, you will see the Easter egg. There's lollipop Easter egg. And if you hold down, let's see here, it should do it. There we go. You should have the hidden Easter egg game, which is, uh, you know, pretty fun little Android that's extremely hard to play. Um, very, very nice. Let's go ahead and pull out my dialer, which is just surprising these things aren't set up on here. Scroll over, yeah. I normally use uh, Hangouts for messaging, and then we we'll, should be a Chrome in here somewhere, you'd think, right? Oh, really? No Chrome? That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to download Chrome. I thought I picked that in my options when I did the install, but um, guess not. You can go in here, you can see your wallpapers. Let's actually do, maybe we'll do a different one. That wallpaper is not really, not really my favorite. Let's try this one out. There we go. That looks a little nicer. You can see you do have um, this battery application installed and running. Just looks like there's some updates there for Greenify. There's my Bears game. Wow, Chicago's winning. Didn't think that would ever happen this year. Um, very cool. You have a flashlight right there, which is very nice. Screen casting automatically here in the settings battery profiles if you want to change your profiles add a guest profile that's really nice again back into settings oh yeah there it is guys that's basically if you haven't seen uh, lollipop before this is it and now you have it on your HTC One M8 booyah I'm so excited for more of these devices to be getting lollipop this is just super awesome I love playing with it want to see a bunch more development on hopefully happening soon. This should be fully functioning um, and basically gives you that look and feel of the Google Play Edition M8. There you go. That's going to be it for me today. Hope you guys liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on this device and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.